guys, I'm Adrienne and welcome to my channel, The Minimal Approach. So today I'm back with a fourth edition of the Indie Patterns Companies Roundup. I'm very happy to do another edition of this series because I really love shopping for patterns and I might have to get on a pattern buying band in the near future because I recently purchased again some patterns and I couldn't resist because it's the second ebook of So Over It and I'm so pleased with it. I'm already cutting the fabric for the Dana dress and I really love ebooks. So yeah, again, I bought some patterns. I was actually supposed to buy the Amalfi dress or the Charleston, is it it? Charleston? Dress from Agent Patterns. But then I saw the ebook and I thought, I don't know, I just had to because I love the coat as well in the uh, Silver It ebook. I don't know if you saw it on social media, but anyway, I love patterns. This edition is special because most of the pattern companies that I will present are based in France and maybe their website is only in French as well. And it was a suggestion of a lovely subscriber that I do this kind of like French edition. And I will also present a blog that I love to follow. I believe it's only in French, but then again, you'll see inspiration of like patterns that this blogger make. And I will also share hashtags that you could use that are in French, but that can, I don't know, increase the inspiration that you can get on Instagram. And before we jump right into it, if you like the channel so far, please subscribe. It really means a lot to get new subscribers and to know that you guys enjoy the channel. Or just simply give a thumbs up to this video. Both really means the world to me. Let's start with Mcom Mahi. There's lots of hashtag with Mcom Mahi on Instagram and they feature lots of pretty dresses and very elegant outfit. So first off, if you're looking for um, patterns company in French, you should be looking for Patron because it's pattern in French. Also in this website, if you look at Meuf, that's women. So when you're looking at Meuf, it's a very French, like from France version to say women. Yeah, so M comme Marie features lots of elegant, office friendly blouses, there's also patterns for kids and for men. The lines are very simple. You can find little darts to give more structure to the looks. I love those hoodies that are dresses. I think those are so comfortable. I had um, one that's ready to wear and I wore it a lot during winter just to lounge around. I love this uh, Mi Amor um, dress. I think it looks very elegant and we'll see like the line drawings. I love the, the sleeve detail. It's not a tulip um, sleeve, but still I think it's, it's very cute. Here is Blousette Rose. I love the drawings. I love that there's color. I think it gives a little impression of what the garment could look like, especially for those who aren't used to sew a lot and can find pattern lines intimidating. You can find loungewear, elegant dresses, there's also uh, clothes for kids and those are PDF patterns as well. Let's look at this Marubi blouse. I really love it. I love the details in the front. I guess you could play around with bias binding. I love that it's longer in the back. And I also love the box pleat. So it's all also available in English. I'm just presenting it in French so you guys can get like used to seeing those French words. And here it's Eglantzin et Zoe. So there's, there's lots of elegant blouse again. There's dresses. There are similar little sling details that are very interesting. Here it's Les Patrons. You, you can be looking for the Patron Femme for women and also Patron Pochette. Pochette means like the paper patterns. So if you like that better, you could look for this. Um, yeah, so those are very cute patterns. They look kind of simple. And PDF patterns are 8 euros, so from my experience, it's not very expensive. It's most likely over 10 euros usually. I love the 
de robe caclo. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's very cute. A vest monet also. I love this style. It's very elegant. Next, it's a very popular one in the website. It's in English also. It's Pauline Alice. Let's check the codes because we're close to the a colder season if you're in the northern hemisphere of course and those patterns are always photographed on people I think it's interesting to see uh, with different drape like how the garment can just like look the sailor jacket is very interesting I love that there are princess seam in the front I love kind of like the fitted bodice I think it's a very interesting jacket it's I'm looking for a pattern for a jacket for work but I'm a bit intimidated because I don't know if there's like padded shoulders or stuff like that. I didn't try, so I think it could be a challenge. <laughs> and this one is all lined, fully lined. So this is something else I'm looking for in a coat. I think it gives a more professional finish. There are also very pretty dresses. Um, if you go on Instagram, you can, f with the hashtag of the dress name, you'll find many interesting inspiration with Polynelius patterns. Next, we have some place called Home, and that's the blog I was talking to you about. I really love her blog. I believe it's only in French, so if you can only speak English, you might be a downer. But the clothes she makes, I love her aesthetics. Her color palette is very pretty, and she's, she's very interesting to follow. And she released a pattern, it's the Porto Fino. It's a very romantic, uh, feminine blouse that can be a dress as well. Next, we got Slow Sunday Paris. They have the well-known iris top and they also have um, a very pretty dress pattern. Next, we got our Chasse sur un fil. Uh, they regroup pattern from different uh, pattern companies and you can buy them all from one place a bit like you could do on indie sews i think um, and it's cool because you get to have lower shipping if you purchase from pochette like patterns that are in paper so that's an advantage if you're like in america it can get quite expensive to order from europe so you can get different patterns at the same place and share the shipping fees i love this vest michel i think it's a great kind of like oversized jacket Next, this one is not in is not from France, but I had to feature it in this fourth episode. It's Kelly Faye. I love their vibe. I, I love their dresses. It's v much more on the casual side of things, but I think they have v little gems uh, of patterns. I love the valley blouse, and I especially love the dress. 47. It's a garment that would make me feel very like pretty. The fact that the waist really sits like on the natural waist of the skirt, I think this would suit my figure well. I love the little knotted um, top detail. I guess it's too late for me to do this one now because summer is almost over here, but this Calife is really out of the box. Like there's many patterns that you can see that are former blouse or former shirt, but they really go outside the box. And here we got Coco Wawa uh, Crafts. She offers patterns that are very cute. That's the only thing that comes to my mind when I look at her uh, website. There's lots of colors. Reminds me a bit of like Tilly in the Button. She offers instruction both in Spanish and in English. So that's something very cool. Onycomb shirt and dress pattern was all over Instagram recently. Features lots of great little details. Lastly, it's This and Moi Patron. Her illustrations are super cute and she has very adorable patterns. Again, those are PDF and she also offers patterns for kids. Okay, so I just wanted to wrap up sharing some hashtag if you're interested in seeing some French inspiration. 
So the first one that I could think of is hashtag Mcommari and it's the pattern company we talked at the beginning. She has over uh, 25,000 um, tags on Instagram and there's lots of lovely makes. Other than that, you could look for hashtag je coud donc je suis, which means kind of like I'm sewing so I am. Also, you could look for the hashtag je coud ce que je porte, which means I'm wearing what I sewed. Hashtag je coud pour moi, which means I'm sewing for myself. Or you could go for je porte ce que je coud, which is the same thing as the, the one that said uh, je coud ce que je porte but just in a different way. Another hashtag that has over 35,000 uh, tags on Instagram is Cousette, which I'm not sure what it means, but it's kind of like a little cute name related to sewing. So that's a very popular one. So this is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know there's a lot of patterns company that I didn't mention, like La Maison Victor, and there's many others. But I just wanted to keep it short today <laughs> because I have lots of sewing to do. But uh, I hope you um, find inspiration in those videos. And if there's another team you'd like for me to explore or another like subject or yeah, if there's something else you'd like me to explore when I do my pattern research, let me know. I didn't mention a lot of free patterns, but uh, I have a lot of free patterns that I downloaded on my uh, computer. So if it's something you'd like for me to share, like all the free patterns I have and the one that you could get, let me know in the comments and it will be a great pleasure for me to do a free pattern edition. So I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Happy sewing. I will see you in another sewing video. Bye.